What's good guys, it's Monk here. So today is um, quite a quick one. It's when I was starting out producing um, and when I was at college and I started to be told about saturation, which is like a more subtle form of distortion that it can be very useful for, for more sort of mix down stuff rather than like when you don't want to obliterate audio but you want to add extra harmonics and you want to add like grit to a sound saturation is useful um, and I got confused for a while because I couldn't find saturation in logic because it's kind of hidden so this is a quick video just in case you are having this problem or just in case you haven't thought about this before uh, but logic does have a stock saturator it's just that it's hidden in a multi effects plugin so what you have to do is go down to multi uh, obviously in the, in the band here where you put your plugins in go down to multi effects and there's a plugin called Fat Effects. Now this is a stock plugin. It will be in Logic already if you have Logic. So I open that up. It's Fat with a PH. And in here you've got all these things going on. You've got like an XY pad here, which is good for modulation and stuff. Uh, compressor, bass and hearts. You've got some LFOs and things. Now I haven't gone too much into this plugin. I don't use it that much. However. In here, you can use it for saturation. So here you come to the distortion unit and you can choose your type of distortion. In that, you have soft saturation and you can add saturation to whatever signal you like. So we'll just listen to it. Uh, this is just a loop of splice. You actually have like three different things, so we could choose like different distortion types on all three. But anyway, the soft saturation is what we were here for. So if you have got logic and you're wondering how to use saturation, fat effects, and then down to the distortion, and you click on soft saturation in there. And um Another hidden type of saturation that you can actually do with Logic Stock Effects um, is if you go to, uh, in your delay, you will have the Tape Delay plugin, which is their stock tape delay. Now, you can actually use this. This isn't talked about as much, but you can use this for tape saturation. Um, and all you need to do, basically, is turn off the delay. So put that to make sure it's on zero. Turn your feedback right down. And then by using this clip threshold, we can actually just get the saturation character from the tape emulation. Uh, if I wet the wet all the way up and the dry way down for now, and we just bring this clip threshold down, you'll be able to hear the saturation uh, taking place. We also have down here like flutter rate and flutter intensity so you can get all that like wobbly tape goodness on there as well. And then obviously if we put the dry up and use it with just a bit of wet we can do it like as a parallel effect too. And also using these, uh, this area, we can actually apply the saturation to only a certain frequency range. So here we're only saturating the, uh, the high frequencies, basically. So that's useful to know, like if you want um, sort of that analog tape saturation kind of sound, you can actually do that by sort of uh, abusing the abusing the Logic Stock plugins. Uh, it's supposed to be a delay plugin, but you can get saturation out of it because it is made to emulate uh, a tape machine. So that's two ways that you can use Logic Stock plugins to make saturation and use that in your mixes or use that creatively, however you see fit. Um, hopefully you found that useful if you didn't know it. Um, 
drop a like and subscribe if you did uh, if there's anything else that I've missed or there's anything you want to know please drop a comment I'll try to get back to everyone and otherwise I will catch you guys in the next video big up